excellent striking technique. And that is how you finish a video, guys. What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video, we're here on UFC 4, we're going to be jumping into a couple of online matches, I don't know how many I will do, I might just do two for today, I've just got back from the gym, I thought I'd just jump into a quick one, uh, just in the mood to play, as always, we'll go with MMA, any weight class, uh, just win or lose, i show you guys these fights, it's just fun, I've, in the minute I've really been enjoying it, and soon I will be doing a subscriber showdown thing, someone said will you do a subscriber showdown, so that would be a cool name for it, uh, so if you guys want to be part of it, let me know if you're on PS4 or PS5, it doesn't matter because it's a crossplay. So yeah, we'll get into uh, the fight and see which weight class they find us. Okay, we are in the lightweight division. This guy's going with a boxer showboater. Let's go with the notorious one. Oh, action venue. This is cool. You don't get this very often. Win or lose, guys, I'm going to have to show you this because this will be cool. Hopefully the connection's not too bad. My connection has been a bit wank lately. So hopefully it's not too bad. Are you ready? How how? How does that make any sense? I'm going to block. Ah, again with the overhand. It doesn't make sense. Right, here comes that overhand again. I can feel it coming. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know how I didn't catch him with that hook then. I'm going to get him a good one. I'm going to get him a good one. combos god damn it I've drained my stamina something major here Oh, got siege bloody downloading again. Oh, how did that not... How did that... How are these not... Landing? My shots are not... My shots are not registering very nicely. I stuffed that. I don't care what anyone says. I stuffed that. second round then that was not my best round not my best performance frustrating frustrating getting caught with those overhands when you really shouldn't be I still touch gloves I still touch gloves no ill will towards the man I'll be the one that stays busy if necessary.
That's some BS, bro. I stuffed that so easily. Nope. Ball man up. Outwork. Outsmarted. Damn it. Damn it, I went to throw a kick there as well. If I got that kick, that would have been beautiful. Nope. Damn, I'm playing like garbage. I got to, I got to like, I got to concentrate here. That was terrible by me, bro. Gets fucking dropped. I can just work one twos in here. That's fine. That's fine. This guy is an absolute amateur on the ground. And he's showing it. Told you. Showing it. Showing the amateur tendencies there. I can't get slept by this guy. Oh, what is that, McGregor? That's right, I'll take my time. Oh, get fucking slept with one minute on the clock. Let's go. Oh, my God. One second on the clock. Get slept. Jesus. I was just fucking being trigger happy at the, the first round, man. That was an absolute awful performance at the start. But you know what? We picked up. We put the combos on him. And at the end, you become complacent. You cannot become complacent in this game or in real life when it comes to combat sports. Oh, what a fight, guys. What a absolute performance that was. One second on the clock. Look how many shots I threw. 207. Let's get into the next one. Alright, guys. This could be quite a tough matchup. This guy's level 63. He's gone with Nate. Um, and we're in the lightweight division. I don't quite know who else to go with. Uh, hold on, mate. Let me, let me think. Give me a minute to think. Just give me a minute. We'll go with Masvidal. Fuck it. This one seems like a good... Uh, unless he takes me down. You know, if he takes me down and beats me into oblivion, fair play on him. You know, it's one of those things in MMA you adjust. You change your game plan. If I beat him on the feet, he might take me down. If he beats me on the feet, he might just beat the crap out of me because God knows I'm not taking him down. <laughs> Let's have a good fight, brother. He's obviously a big Nate fan. Right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything to his power to keep him. this fight on the feet. He's going to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done. Yes, he has all the advantages because you don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything. 
thing, but this guy okay. is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain the space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Good shots, good shots. He's landing well nice combos. I'm really enjoying it. I know they're against me, but still, the combos are nice. This guy's landing good combos. I respect it. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Go. Back to the feet. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get two shots there. I don't even know what's going on here. Oh my goodness. Left hook right hand. It's a big knee. So 40 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Damn, 40 strikes already I've landed. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. And both guys really throwing with authority. Damn, bro, we are throwing combos for days. He continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Huge land. Good volume of knees here by Diaz. They break that. Once again, employing the knee. This guy wants. Slips the this guy wants clinch work. So I'm gonna. Well, he continues to. Oh! Yeah. Running fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! He was taunting a minute ago. He doesn't. He doesn't seem to want to taunt now. I'd have had him then. I'd have had him. That one-two that I was about to throw would have KO'd him cold. He had no stamina. I'm gonna say, wow. Great fight. This is insane. Win or lose. I hope you guys have been entertained. This has been insane. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. I need to stop throwing that same combo because he's gonna he's gonna see that. And there comes the separation now. And now Masvidal's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh, good stuff. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is the problem with Nate. His stamina is insane. Yeah. Well done. Well done. His stamina is insane. Nate is just... You can just batter him, and he just is like a robot. Yeah, man. Crowd loving it. Great fight. I don't need to... I don't need to be cocky. This guy, I don't know why this guy's saying what, what, what for. That was a good fight. For someone of his level, he wasn't very good. That's all I'll say. I mean, I played the game. I, I think in the last week, I've had eight fights in this game. And that is the most I've played it in two months. That's all I'll say about that. And that guy at his level. He didn't want to rematch. Normally when people beat you, they want to rematch. He knew the rematch was not something he wanted. It was annoying because I felt good going into that second round, but I was too gassed. And uh, that's just the way it was. Uh, one of the judges actually gave me the first round. Interesting. Interesting to see. You know what we'll do, guys? We'll try and bounce back with one more win here. So let's uh, let's get into the next fight. Okay, we're in the Bantamweight division here. This guy has got a cracked fighter, a boxer, a showboater. Let's, uh, I thought we'd go with Cody. 
It's probably I think Cody was actually one of the first people I used in this game for one of the first new fighters that I ever saw. I think I've done a video on him and O'Malley. All right, coming up next. So let's jump into this one. Good fight to you, brother. All right, so here we go with round one, classic yes, matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. And it's over. 14 seconds. Get fucking slapped, bitch! <laughs> it's done. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique. And that is how you finish a video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I said I wanted to come back with a win. And that's how you fucking do it. Bang. I tried to touch guys with him. He wanted to taunt me. I don't quite know why. Um, dude, got to say he's gonna want a rematch. Everyone that gets beaten in 14 seconds wants a rematch. I'm not gonna take it because this is the end of the video, guys. Uh, but yeah, of course, of course he wants a rematch. Of course he wants a rematch. <laughs> I get slapped, bro. <laughs> Love it. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.